Okay, finally, let's try out our two class neural network. We covered this previously in the regression algorithm, but uh, neural networks work by creating um, a hidden layer of uh, variables, basically, to try to recombine the existing independent variables to do a better job of predicting the dependent variables. Um, yeah, let's just get back into it again. These are slower training times and uh, more accuracy, generally speaking. Definitely slower. I'm waiting a bit longer than usual here for it to finish the whole train model through evaluate process. Okay, let's take a look. Not bad. I still think it looks like we have some others that were better. All right, so neural network. Percent or accuracy. Precision. Okay, I think that's it for all of the, uh, let me double check, did I get them all? We covered two class, yep, did all those. Yep, that's it for all of our two class models. Let's take a look and compare accuracy and precision across all of them. Expand that, standardize this. Let's go ahead and sort them. Sort by, whoops, take off headers, column B, overall accuracy, whoops, I meant to go the other direction. Large to smallest. So accuracy is taking into account both true positives and, and true negatives, false positives, false negatives, and uh, looking at the, basically the percent of cases predicted accurately, whether it was uh, yes, they did buy a bike, or no, they didn't buy a bike. Decision Forest, by far the best, by a long shot. Um, very fast, uh, boosted decision trees, not bad. I'm impressed with the local deep support vector machine. I didn't think that one would be as good. Um, Logistic regression is usually our baseline, but I guess support vector machines could be, they're, they're, they're both pretty old. They're both kind of baseline models. But overall, the only thing I'm a little surprised about is that neural network didn't end up a little bit higher, but hey, that's okay. That's why we have to test all of them. Cool. So that's it for uh, two class algorithms.